Today, we are going to be talking about some fundamentals, types of rope, and the rope length. Jumping rope is the action of jumping a rope that passes under the person's feet and over the head. Jump over the rope with a U-shaped rope. After making the U-shaped rope, jump over when performing crossover jump 2. We are going to be using a JJ PVC jumping rope in the channel. There is a variety of ropes, but we are going to be using a PVC one. The better you get, the shorter it tends to be the rope. The rope's length should be from shoulders to lower chest for beginners, lower chest to belly bottom for intermediate, and belly bottom to hips for advanced learners. Grabbing the handles gently will reduce the burden in your wrists. Relax your body and feel the rope as you jump. Beginners tend to tense the body quite too much. In this case, it is just a matter of time for them to understand how to manage the body. We are going to be learning two main styles, known as U-shaped rope, basic bounce, and side swipe, which will help you improve your skills along with some tips. These terms are going to have the same meaning in the next videos. In order to avoid confusion, we will always start on the left side. And we will count in from 1 to 8, starting at the next number every time, like this. This method is useful when jumping. Thank you. Today, we are going to be talking about jump rope side swing. Side swing jump is a good start for beginners to get used to the rope's weight. Beginners can acquire the basic skills through the side swing jump. We are going to learn the right way to do a side swing jump. First, put your wrists together and swing the rope from side to side, using both hands up and down, as it shows. Practice the same motion faster as you get used to it. Now, Try moving your hands in a wider range. Make sure to switch your hands every time you swing the rope. The reason why you should switch your hands is to avoid the rope getting twisted. As I mentioned before, it is really important to keep the U-shaped rope. Now we have a side swing jump. First, double side swing. The trick is to change the position of your hands smoothly as it shows.
Second, double side swing jump. Perform double side swing jump as you raise your leg above your hips. You must be able to perform double swings well in order to do other swings. Avoid extending the rope excessively and think about pulling it towards your body. Thank you. Jump over the rope for beginners. Today, we are going to be talking about the common mistakes for those who can jump the rope properly and some exercises to improve. There is two cases where kids can control the rope and where their hands do not coordinate with their feet, which means that you should jump at the same time you swing the rope. Swing jump is a good exercise for those who can control the rope And now we are going to introduce some exercises that will help those who need to work on coordination of hand and feet. First, practice the basic bounce with feet together. The part of the body where the brain sends more stimulus is the hands, so it is okay to practice hands moves once you have mastered basic bounce. Practice with a partner holding hands together. Keep your heels up and feet together and focus on the jump. You will be able to coordinate hands and feet if you practice clapping your hands with a partner. Practice the second step once you are able to perform over 50 jumps by yourself. Second, jump over the basic bounce. Even though you can perform basic bounce well, it is easy to trip over the rope. So you have to remember the process of basic bounce. In this second step, you will try to jump over the rope after bouncing 5 times. As I mentioned before, you will be able to move your hands simultaneously by now. Try to jump over the rope after bouncing 4 times and then 3 and so on. Third, jumping two times every time the rope swings around. And finally, jumping only one time every time the rope swings around and you will have to master jump over rope, basic bounce. This day will be your first success. Congratulations! Three minutes jump rope. Now that you all can do the basic bounce, we are going to learn some new skills. From today, we are going to be performing lots of different jumps with feet together. Jump only one time whenever the rope swings around. Keep your feet together. Keep your hands down to avoid tripping over. The more you raise your hands, the harder it becomes to jump. Do not forget to keep your hands close to your body. First, jump in place, feet together. Relax your body as much as you can and jump in place. Practice this exercise until you feel completely comfortable with it.
Now jump side to side alternately. In the next one, you are going to jump back and forth. And finally, Hip twist jump rope. Move your hips right and left continuously. Be aware of keeping your posture as you move from side to side. Practice what we learned today. and share these videos with your friends. Thank you. Three minutes jump row. Today, we are going to practice double jump. We have already practiced it. In case you don't remember, let's review one more time. Swing the rope around after jumping 4 times. If you got it, try jumping 3 times now, and then only 2. We have already accomplished double jump. Swing the rope around after jumping 2 times. This is called double jump. There is a variety of elements you can perform by jumping this way. Once you master double jump, give it a try. A beat double jump. Perform double jump 8 times and after that basic bounce. Beat double jump. Perform double jump four times and after that basic bounce. Swing the rope controlling the speed as you switch from double jump to basic bounce. To beat double jump. Perform double jump two times and after that basic bounce. Here there are some tricks. Give them a try by applying double jump. Practice what we learned today. And don't forget to share these videos with your friends. Thank you. Three minutes jump rope. From today, we are going to be learning some straddles.
first size throttle. At first, you won't be able to move your body as you want, and that's totally fine. Don't feel bad if you can't coordinate right away. Practice eye throttle motion first, and then give it a try with a rope. Side throttle. Perform side throttle after swinging the rope around. Second, forward throttle. Perform forward throttle after swinging the rope around. Practice if and forward throttle motion first, and after that, use the rope. If you find it difficult, get back to the basics and practice more. Practice your feet motion until you feel comfortable. X foot cross. Practice these variations. Practice what we learned today and don't forget to share these videos with your friends. Thank you. Three minutes jump roll. In previous videos, we learned some basic jumps. Today, we are going to learn some alternate foot steps. Alternate foot step. Jump alternating your feet. It is similar as if you were running on the spot. Practice alternating your feet as you jump. Alternate foot step, side double tapping. Jump two times, alternating your feet. This can also be called boxer skip or boxer step. Jump two times, alternating your feet after swinging the rope. Jump cross. Jump two times, alternating your feet, sideways, back and forth. Build strength and endurance in your legs by practicing alternate foot step, starting from 8 jumps to 4 and so on.
work on alternate foot step by jumping like this. Practice what we learned today and don't forget to share these videos with your friends. Thank you. Three minutes jump rope. Today we are going to be raising the knees. First, high knees. Lift up your knee and put it down every time you swing the rope. Second, high heels. Raise your heels and bounce. Lift up your heel and put it down every time you swing the rope. Once you have practiced this high knee variation step, give it a try with the rope. Cross your leg after lifting it up and then get it back to its place. High heels variations work exactly the same. Cross your leg after lifting it up and then get it back to its place. Practice using this technique. If you can't do it at first, practice the motion without the rope. Keep working on this jump and you will be able to do it well. Practice what we'll learn today and don't forget to share these videos with your friends. Thank you. Three minutes jump rope. Today we are going to be doing some shake jumps. Don't forget to relax your legs. If you got to this point, you will be able to do a natural movement for sure. Since a short explanation will be given, imagine you are holding a rope. First, forward shake jump. This can also be called kick step from the basic two foot bounce. As you jump, move your left foot forward, shift on both feet backwards and begin on the other side.
Second, side shake jump. This can also be called side step. Move your legs sideways after swinging the rope. Focus on your legs right after the rope swings around. Put into practice forward and side shake jumps. Practice what we we'll learned today and don't forget to share these videos with your friends. Thank you.